Okay, well, as I have made a video about last night, one of the neighbor's dogs have torn up my chicken coop and killed one of my chickens. So, I'm going to be making a new little chicken enclosure with PVC pipe and chicken wire. The chicken wire is three feet by 50 foot in length, so the chicken coop will be three foot tall, three foot wide, and ten feet long. Okay, what I got here is I got these little three-way fittings to where I can have squared ends and then run pipes long ways. Take a ten foot section and go into there. Now somewhere here in the middle I'll have another set going down. Which I got these T's for. I wanted to have one going down and across, but they didn't have like specialty four-way connectors, so we'll do the best we can. Okay, well, we can start, kind of start seeing what we're going to have here. I'm just going to go through and, and just build it. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. There's not much to, to figure on it. I'll come back when I go to make the door or something I think might be difficult or a good idea. Alright, here's the main frame of it. Here's some water, Dad. Thank you. I guess I can be in the video. I guess so. Because I bring you this water. Yeah. Well, now we just gotta wrap it in wire. I would have liked to have been able to to have one run across the middle there, but they didn't have like a specialty four-way fitting like that so huh, let's that's see what we got it. whoa it's pretty big it's all the way up to my neck yeah okay well this is what I've come up with so far um, the enclosure is done it's a uh, 10 feet long three foot wide three foot tall uh, I needed to to do it to where I needed some way to make an enclosure that's going to be fairly sturdy and yet quick to build because right now I'm having to keep my chickens locked up in my metal storage shed because the uh, the dog ruined the coop that I had them in so this is what I've got for the enclosure I've made a here on the front I've made a little door that can swing up And I'll just wire the bottom of it shut when we're not opening it. But now I just gotta rig them up some sort of 
nesting box type of deal where they can stay warm. Um, I might try to salvage some of their old one. It's kind of tore up, but maybe I can piece it together. But that's what I got so far. Okay. Well, on short notice, this is what I come up with. I'll do a little bit better on them a, a nesting place, but I was kind of in a in a rush to get them out of that stinking shed, so kind of an emergency situation. I'm gonna see if I can get them to come out and just go in there without me having to do them one at a time. No, I don't normally feed them just on the ground like this. I'm just trying to give them something to go to. These chickens right here are basically pets. They're super tame. Calm down, lady. Now I just need to stake this down where it won't move and tie the door closed. They seem to enjoy being out of that shed though. Now I just got to clean up my mess back here. Okay, well, I guess I'm done with them for the night. I put their water inside their little house thing. Like I said, I'll have to do something better than that for long term, but this is an emergency situation, so this will do. I just wedged, uh, right here, I wedged, uh, wedged a piece of pipe in to hold those two apart, because it was kind of sagging a little bit right there. But like I said, you know, they make special four-way, let's see, one, two, three, yeah, four-way connectors to make these angles right here. But you have to order them online. They don't sell them at plumbing places. It's for like furniture building and things. So I just kind of wedged it in there and ran it up and out, up and out through the wire. And that should be good. Wired the door closed. And then let's see if I can zoom enough here. Yeah. Good enough. Well, right there is like a tent stakes that I've got it pinned to the ground with so nothing can lift it up and go under. I'll have to go out to the property out in the woods and get some uh, rebar that I've got left over. And uh, I'll probably take like one foot section, cut one foot pieces of 3 8 rebar and just bend it into a U shape, kind of like a staple or a steeple, and then go down over, you know, the top of the pipe with those. 
But like I said, this is an emergency situation, kind of, so I just wanted to get them where they're, you know, not inside a freaking metal storage shed where they can be out in the air and jump around a little bit and maybe not be so traumatized. Lord knows when the next time they're going to lay an egg it will be, but I don't know. We'll see. They're pretty darn good laying hens. So, I don't know. We'll see. I didn't get any today. Oh, ladies. I can't wait to get moved out to the home spot out in the woods there where I can just let them run free. I'll lock them up at night time, but let them out in the day and let them run around and eat ticks and do whatever they want to do.